Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Under Dread. This is a new indie horror game on Steam. Retails for 10 bucks, I believe. There's a link down in the description. It was created by Big Zur Games, whose previous work I am unfamiliar with. But it uh, looks to be amnesia inspired, and it might be worthwhile. Who knows? So we'll have to check it out. Um, not sure what this screen is, I guess. This is like a chapter select? It all happened a few years ago. My daughter and I were taking a carriage along an old abandoned road and, to our delight, had finally reached a settlement. We decided to spend the night here. There was a long road ahead of us. Oh wait, is that it? Do I click? Oh, okay. But we never imagined how long it would actually be. At night, I was awakened by some noises. The room was still empty, windows closed and doors bolted shut. I didn't even understand at first that Lisa was simply gone. After searching for her and the inn proved unsuccessful, I tried asking the locals to see if anyone saw her, though to no avail. But what I did learn was that Lisa wasn't the first child to disappear. I've also learned about a detective who was searching for them, and even managed to return a few back home. Sounds promising. Is that detective me? I was told about a former local landlord's castle where the detective was headed next. Gathering my courage, I went after him. Maybe he could help me in my search. Or at least, I could use some of the clues he may have found. Oh, okay. You want to play detective yourself, huh? I guess maybe I'm playing as the guy- Oh, okay, and we're here! In the castle! With a big green arrow in, in the middle of everything. Holding down shift makes you run. Try moving towards the green arrow now. I did it. Good! Oh, thank you guys. Thank you for, for saying that to me. Okay, so I know my face is in front of the bar. Let me fix that real quick. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I don't always know what my webcam is gonna be covering up before I get into it. This big stone door must be here for a reason. The question is, how do I unlock it? If you experience difficulties with your current quest, you can use a hint. Wow, really? To ask for a hint, press F. Try doing it now. Whoa! It holds your hand! Drawers, wardrobes, and other items can contain useful items. Come closer to the desk and touch the drawer. <laughs> okay, sure. Many objects require having some sort of item to function. Okay. You can see them by pressing I to open inventory. This stone statue seems to be a key of sorts. Ah, okay. Uh, pretty odd way to do um, a tutorial, I have to say. To pick up an item, touch it, pick up the stone key from the drawer and scroll from the desk now. Oh, there's a scroll, huh? Didn't even see that. Hi. Red ribbon scrolls contain useful notes which can give you a clue. They are lit by a blue aura. Well, there's another one over here. Read your collected notes, press J to open journal. Detective note one. This stone door seems pretty suspicious. At first I thought it was purely decorative, but I'm pretty sure it can actually be open and it leads somewhere. Perhaps I should study it more closely. Just as I thought, the four holes in the door are some sort of lock and the keys must be somewhere nearby. So I gotta find four of those uh, stone, stone things. Okay, I'm okay with that. This looks similar to like Dungeon Nightmares. Is anyone else getting that? Blue ribbon scrolls contain pieces of journal, which contain some insight regarding the events occurring. Picked up a note. Where? Where did I get that? Maybe that was, it was referring to earlier? I'm not sure why it said that. Hi, I think I found, okay, I found another key. It was right there. Excuse me. I mean, I think the, uh... Did that skull just drop down? That was adorable. Oh. Okay, we just need to find two more. I have to say the green arrow is, is pretty immersion breaking. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Small game from a small studio. Found a third one. The fact that you can use hints is very interesting to me. 
just wonder there's something glowing over here. I guess not. Okay, there's probably something in the bookcases over here. Maybe like a maybe there's like a hidden passage or something. Oh, uh, it's probably just in this chest over here. Oh. All right, I digress. It's not in there. Let's see what happens if I press F. Find the stone key hidden inside the next room. Interesting, okay. So it wasn't even in here. What? The way ahead is blocked by a monster. Usually they will go away in time, but you can also drive them away. Press G to use the shield and drive it away for a while. What? This is kind of silly, man. Oh, it's like that, okay, you see that, that button this way behind me? That's what the shield was, huh. There we go, there's the fourth stone key. Wonder if there's some notes I can pick up. I mean, this is rough around the edges so far, but it's a lot more competent than some of the other stuff I've played on Steam. <laughs> oh no, he died like this. <laughs> they both did. Oh man, that's a more realistic death, I think. Death position. This guy too, they had the right idea. Yeah. But those guys, they died dancing. Alright, so let's, uh, let's put these in. Let's see what happens. The keys fit, the door is open! I beg to differ, it doesn't look From open. From the nameless oh. detective's notes. I had a hunch that something was wrong with this castle, but I never imagined the actual scale of thing going on here. A giant dungeon, a crypt filled with secrets, mysteries, and corpses. Yep. Stone stairs first take you deep down, and then from platform to platform. Outside the rooms, I can't even see the dungeon God. ceiling. I'm pretty sure terrible things happen here, and that I'll find something, some clue or hint there. Yeah. Well, you could just press F for hint, man. You don't have to search for him. Hey, look, I'm gonna do it right away. Watch it. Ooh, the hidden door is open by pressing a torch. <laughs> It kind of ruins things, to be honest. I could probably, I should probably play without the hints. Although, how would I know to do that, to be honest? Save complete. Good, good, good. The torch budges. Let's look around this room a little bit. I'm, I'm curious. Hmm. Seems like there's whispering when there's something that can be picked up nearby, kind of like uh, layers of fear. I passed through the door, but the room looks like a simple dining hall, and there seems to be no doors or other exits down there. Uh, why would anyone need to set up a dining hall deep underground and lock it away? There must be some sort of hidden switch or mechanism. Something seems off. From time to time, I hear unfamiliar sounds, but I can never discern them clearly. They seem to be coming from inside the walls. Yeah. I think those are the, there's something to pick up nearby, whispers. Yeah, I might be wrong, but I think some of these are the same assets used in Dungeon Nightmares. Might be wrong though, it just, it looks, they, they look really similar. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, I'm sorry guys, but the frame rate on that skull drop was amazing. And it just disappeared underground. That's too bad. Save complete. Oh no! Hmm. 
Well, that's gruesome. How did that happen? I guess he must... He must have been, like, flung against the wall by something and then shot at the same time. A lot of... A lot of convenient death positions here. Picked up a note. Picked up a note. Okay. A lot of occult literature here. Papers, notes, and recipes. The owner wasn't a simple paranoiac. If that's how you pronounce that. He was studying magic. Couldn't seem to find out exactly what he was up to at the moment, though. Just another nutcase, it seems. Few are there who, while alive, can secrets keep, but some spread them being dead, even. What? That's the madman's note. No wonder it doesn't make any sense. Okay. So, so a dead person has a secret is basically what you're saying? Hi, what's this? Can't take it. Hmm. Oh. Do you have a secret for me, you dead person? I thought you spread secrets while dead, even. Do I go this way? I can't jump. Hmm. There appears to be... Picked up a book. What? Did I open my inventory? An ominous book with the letter A. So am I looking for books? Is that what I'm doing? Am I looking to spell out something? Okay. What was that? Who's making noises at me? Excuse me, statue. How inconsiderate. Okay, maybe there's... Hmm. Hey, dead. Hey, dead. Do you hold any secrets? Looking for books. I mean, I assume... It, it said the letter A, so you, you would think that... It'd be used to spell out something if it has, like, a single letter on it. Oop. Oop. What's this over here? The scroll says that to open the bars on the bridge, I should just touch the statue. What? Oh, hello there. Do you have a secret? Oh, what? That was odd. Maybe I'll close these. I can't close this. I guess I just unleashed him from his tomb or whatever. Touch the statue. What's going on? Oh, this statue's crying blood. Touch the statue. There's lots of statues around here. What did it say to do? It seems like the owner moved his studies to a new lab. Dug up even deeper below. To access it, I'll have to cross a large bridge located a bit further into the dungeon. Where's this bridge? I bet that some sort of answer awaits me there. A few moments earlier, I noticed a statue standing next to a set of bars. It seems like the statue acts as a mechanism to open them. A few minutes ago, I heard some footsteps in the distance. Pretty sure I did. Seems like I'm not here alone after all. I'm a little... I'm a little... Confused? Oh. Oh, this is the bridge they were talking about. I just... It, it happened as soon as I walked into the room, so I forgot about it. I was down there looking everywhere. Okay, Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Not sure what that was about. What? Do I take this? That's a tiny-ass little sword. More of a dagger, I guess. What was that? I better hide myself. Those pillars should suffice. Ah. 
Okay. Ooh, I see. I'm hidden. Closed one means no one can see you. Dude! Hello there! He's only got one eye, he's kinda... Of <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, it's like Sans from Undertale, okay. I'll see you later, man. You can move on now. I'm glad that this hiding place sufficed. What is this? If you, if you hold down right mouse button, this happens. I'm not sure why. Okay. Alright, see you later, I guess. Okay, so when you crouch, you, you turn off your uh, lantern. The door is locked. Understood. Okay, so, so far, my thoughts on the game. Is he coming back? It's a little rough around the edges, but um, you can tell that a lot more effort and work was put into this than a lot of the other stuff I've seen on Steam. A lot of the other horror games. Quote, horror games. Ooh. He's scanning the area for me, huh? Ooh. I don't know where he went. Okay, I got stuff. Ooh, I got another shield. Or ward, rather. What'd I do? I... Ooh! Maybe you won't see me anymore. I do have my shield, just in case. Is he coming over here? I want this thing. Picked up a note. Okay, we'll just hang out here. Let me read these notes real quick. Um, Madman's note to the lady always loved the color of green. For her sake collected, I've every leaf, rock, and grass green I could get, but burned in her still the jealousy, and so to steal all the color green, she left to me as her last will she did. And in a tower she locked herself always until done is the deed. Okay, so I'm not sure why the madman's talking like Yoda, but... Uh, we'll just bypass that. I clearly heard some distant moaning which gave me the creeps. Can't even imagine what someone could do to a man to make him moan like this. This castle is abandoned, isn't it? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> nice. Alright, what we got? Right, we got the book with the letter A. I guess maybe it's just a collectible? Like a weird little collectible? Maybe this it's like A through Z or something? Okay, detective's note six. In the center of the room, a statue looms high. I've met it before quite a few times. It's probably some sort of local deity, or perhaps it has some other meaning. According to some papers found around, this statue was referred to by the owner as the lady. He was asking her for something, and he sought her protection. But for what? There must be a way to lower the statue to the ground level, I think. Okay. No, oh, that's just floating there, isn't it? Well, I I did the I did the crank. Ooh. Where is he? So, by the way, if my hair or my shirt looks purple right now, it's not. Just so you know. It's just the chroma key acting up. 
Okay. Hi. It just, it takes the green out of my gray shirt and my brown hair, and it makes it look purple. Sometimes, if I have it set to a darker shade. Okay, picked up a note. Picked up another note. What is this? Why are all these cranks? There's a lot of cranks here. Let's just, let's just redo all of them, I guess. Okay, so watch this. Right now, my hair looks purple, right? But, if I do this, it looks normal. But, if I do this, it looks purple again. And that's because I'm selecting a darker shade of green for the purple and a lighter for the normal. I know it might seem confusing, but I, I've just seen a lot of questions about that. Like, did you dye your hair purple? No, it's just, it's just special effects gone wrong, that's all. Whoa, what is that thing? What was that? Oh, hey. So I figured out what you need to do. You need to turn all the switches to red. I'm just having trouble finding all the switches, that's all. I'm not sure what that eye was about. That was not, that was not cool. I did not really enjoy that. Okay. There's gotta be, okay, that one's red. I must just be missing, I had to be missing like one. I don't know where it is. You hear a door open nearby, I finally did it. I had to use all my wards, but... Uh, finally did it, okay. Making progress. You don't wanna know how much time I spent on that. All right, what'd we get? This is Detective Note 10. Curse and damnation! The bridge to the inner part of the lab is right before me, but it is closed by metallic bars which don't seem to open from the side. It's like someone is toying with me. Hmm. Okay, so we still got that monster. Let's see, we got this note. Might as well just pick up all the notes, I guess. Ooh, there's one right here, too. Thank you. Book, book, we pick up the book. Uh, so in my inventory I have, uh, well I guess I just have the book with the letter A. I also have a green gemstone, I'm not sure. I would like to point out that this is incredibly low res. <laughs> Probably should be fixed up at some point. Um, yeah, so let's check out the, uh, the notes. We got Detective's Note 9 and Madman's Note 4, I believe, are the ones remaining. Before the creatures mighty kneel you must, and tribute of coins few must pay. This hall, just like some others before it, has statues with empty braziers and candles before them. Obviously they have some ritualistic meaning. It consists of throwing a few coins as a tribute into them, it seems. I still can hear the moans and other indiscernible sounds. I can't help but feel like I'm being watched. Well, that giant eye probably didn't help uh, that feeling at all. So coins, eh? Coins. Do I have any? I do have coins. Do I have to kneel in order to do it? Hmm. I guess just these. Okay. Well, where's your cup, man? You don't have one. Yeah, those don't seem to be... I guess it's just this one. Where am I getting these coins from? Am I rich? Hmm. Is there, there's one over here as well? Damn it. Where's this stupid thing coming from? Oh no, I think he might have seen me. I think that's what that sound was. He is about to come in here though. Damn I need to recharge my stamina anyway. Oh man. I'm not really sure why I have 
such dis determination and uh, will willpower to finish this game. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's it's not really that good, to be honest. It does remind me of Dungeon Nightmares, like I already said before. Okay, is he not coming in here? That's. I mean, that's fine. Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm guessing this is to get rid of these, right? So I put coins in there. Um, I put coins in that one, but then these don't have coin receptacles, so I'm not sure what to do with them. And these don't take anything. Oh, that was the one that I was missing. Thank you, Hint. Gotcha. All right, thank you for the hint. You can go away now. I understand. I understand what I must do. Good news is that monster is away for a little longer too. My nose itches. Okay, got a couple of uh, scrolls here. I guess just with more hints, picked up a note. Picked up a note. What, those were like daggers. Oh, well where's my book? Judging from the markings, this dagger is used to banish Something. Okay, uh... Playing the toys, sometimes our life we build, but never we do have enough of steel to kill the demons therein. This toy statues <laughs> seem to reflect the actual ones blocking the bridge. Could they be actually connected somehow? There, there are also some ritual daggers lying nearby, and they are certainly here for a reason. Toy statues? Where? These things? Oh. Okay, wait. So I just gotta stab... I gotta stab enough to get through. Thank you for the hint. I, I'm done with that now. I'm <laughs> not sure if you knew. So wait. Let's see. If I stab this... And I stab, wait, this one. I need to get another, I need to get another dagger is what I need. I seem to remember that there was one over here that we could pick up. I don't think we could pick it up until now. It's still showing that hint. Here we go, here we go. Give me it, give me. Thank you. Okay, so, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Um, that, that, that's what we need. Okay, so, let's say that one. Well, we just gotta get through, that's all. Nope, you can see me. Crap, I'm so dead. No, no, I got away. No, I'm not gonna touch a brassiere! I'm not a teenage boy. Stop giving me instructions on that front. Thank you. Okay, well, having trouble finding these daggers, and uh, the hint function is apparently broken. Let me see if I can restart with a new one. Because it seems like you have to get at least five daggers here. So, let's see. One, two. So I've got a hint. I want to know if it's still bugged, though. So there was one right here. Up, oh, it's gone now. Crap. Find the ritual daggers. Yeah, thank you. So there is one this way. Goodbye. What, there's one in there? Yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Wait, is this one right here? Oh, okay. I guess I just haven't really been paying as much attention as I should. Where is it? The arrow is like right here, but I don't... Oh, there it is. It's kind of hard to see. No, let me have it. 
Oh my god, it's right there. Come on. Thank you. I wonder if there's any more... I didn't think to look in the drawers. Okay, I've got five. I'm thinking that that might be enough. Oh my god. How'd I miss that one? That sucks. Okay, I got. I found the last one. There were four of them just in a very small area. After the first three, I was like, okay, well, that's probably it. I don't know how I didn't see that one. Okay. The good news is... You guys <laughs> won't have to see me running around for 20 minutes looking for that thing. It'll be like it never happened, almost. Okay. There we go. Finally went through. I better not have to go back to that area. If I have to go back to, if I have to go back and look for more items again, because I noticed that there were some items that I saw like repeated, over and over again. If I have to go back and find some, I'm gonna be really upset, and that's gonna be it for me. I picked up a journal page. It wasn't glowing though. Okay, appeared to be a fake one. Oh, this is a. That's a hint. Picked up a tip. That looks out of place. Uh, okay. So, uh, what do? It looks like the hint came at a perfect time, actually. Is this another torch puzzle? Like, I gotta press the torch down and... No? Do I just have to touch the statue, or...? Let's press it. Find the lady's statue. What? I gotta go back? Again? They are getting as much mileage as they can out of this monster. Wow. Okay, where's the lady's statue? It's all the way back here. I've had to come back to this place for three different reasons now. One to flip the switch, second to look for daggers, and third to find the lady's statue. This is it? I picked up a stone set. Hi! That's happened a number of times as well. Okay. Gotta hide here. Pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, I feel I feel like this game had promise at first, but like, hello. But having to backtrack so many times really kills it for me. And this thing, I mean, just reusing the same monster, patrolling the same area in the exact same pattern. I mean, I, I get that this is supposed to be a horror game, but like, there's no tension, you know? It's, it's very predictable. And it just ends up as a source of frustration. Okay. Oh, come on. The sprint meter, too, is pissing me off. Okay, so I found the lady statue. Now what? Let me look at the inventory. I didn't actually read it. A pretty heavy statue of a local goddess. The lady. Oh, I see. Should I put it here? Opens up another secret passage. This reminds me of doorways. That's what this reminds me of. I was trying to figure out another medieval horror game where you had to backtrack a lot. And it felt pretty tedious. And it's, uh, it's definitely doorways. I forgot about that one. Let's read our note. What do we get? Detective's Note 12, another secret entrance leading to another hidden lab. This psycho seem to have been performing some rituals involving living people. The remains still litter the floor of a cage in the center of the room. I don't really feel safe anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. Oh man. I gotta go in about 15 minutes. I'm not gonna be able to edit this in time to upload it today. Hey, I found a uh, tip. Good? Oh no. Switches again? Really? 
Do I have to make sure they're all green this time? Do, or do I have to make sure they're all red? I forget. Uh, it's like there's, I, I keep seeing crosses and I hope that we don't need them at some point. Is that the only switch here? Hi there. Oh, it was just one switch, that's good. Didn't have to use up my hint. Let's use the hint. Find the holy water. We'll see how far back it's gonna take me. Just gonna make him go away, it's just easier. It's just easier that way. I'll need something to battle evil spirits. A lot of something. No, don't make me go back. How far back are we going? No, I get it. It's making me go all the way back. Alright. I wanted to give this a chance, but I'm gonna end it here. I've been playing for about an hour and 40 minutes. Just to give you an idea of how much I cut out. Ugh. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this, uh video and the game, and I'll see you guys later. Think critically.